Hi everyone! In this video, let me show you how to perform operations on integers. Let's start with addition of integers. We have rules to follow. Rule number one, to add integers with the same sign, add the absolute value of each number and copy the sign. We have here some examples. First, 5 plus 4 equals... So, both 5 and 4 are positive numbers. Let's add them. 5 plus 4 is 9. And since both 5 and 4 are positive, then our answer is also positive. Let's have another example. 6 plus 2 is 8. Let's proceed to both negatives. We have negative 1 plus negative 2. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1 and the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. And since they are both negative, we should copy their sign. Another example, negative 7 plus negative 3 the absolute value of negative 7 is 7, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 7 plus 3 is 10. Then, we should copy their sign, which is negative. Therefore, our answer is negative 10. Let's proceed to rule number 2, which is to add integers with different signs. Subtract the absolute value of each number and copy the sign of the number with the largest absolute value. Let's have some examples. First, 10 plus negative 3 equals, since 10 is positive and 3 is negative, we should proceed to subtraction. 10 minus 3 is 7. And we have to copy the sign of the number with the largest absolute value, which in this case, 10 has the larger absolute value. Therefore, our final answer is positive. Second example, we have negative 8 plus 4. Same situation, they both have different signs, negative 8 and positive 4. So let's proceed to subtraction. 8 minus 4 is and since negative 8 has the larger absolute value, therefore our final answer should copy its sign which is negative. Therefore our answer for this example is negative 4. Another example, 2 plus negative 5. Let's subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. Negative 5 has the larger absolute value. Therefore, we should copy its sign, which is negative. Therefore, 2 plus negative 5 is negative 3. Next, we have negative 1 plus 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. And since positive 10 has larger absolute value, therefore our final answer is 9. Negative 1 plus 10 is equal to 9. To sum up the rules for addition, when two integers have the same signs, you should proceed to addition and copy the sign. But when the two integers have different signs, therefore you should proceed to subtraction and copy the sign of the number that has the larger absolute value. Let's proceed to subtraction of integers. The rule for subtraction of integers is to change the sign of the second number, then proceed to addition. Follow the addition rules. Okay, let's have example 1, 5 minus 4. Let us copy the first number. Then, let's proceed to addition and change the sign of the second number. In this case, the second number is positive 4. So, let's change it to negative 4. Okay, 
Now we have 5 plus negative 4. In the rule of addition of integers, in adding numbers with different signs, we should proceed to subtraction and follow the sign of the number that has the larger absolute value. Therefore, we should subtract 5 with 4, and that is 1. And since positive 5 has the larger absolute value, our final answer should also be positive. Second example, negative 1 minus 6. Same procedure, copy the first number. Change it to addition. And change the sign of the second number. In this case, we have positive 6. Let's change it to negative 6. In the rule of adding integers, in adding numbers with the same signs, we should proceed to addition and copy the sign. In this case, we have negative 1 plus negative 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. And since their signs are both negative, we should copy it. Therefore, our answer for this example is negative 7. Let's have the third example. Negative 10 minus negative 2. Copy negative 10. Proceed to addition. Change the sign of the second number. We have negative 2, therefore it will be positive 2. Since they have different signs, we should proceed to subtraction of their absolute values. 10 minus 2 is 8. And since negative 10 has a larger absolute value than positive 2, therefore our final answer should copy the sign negative. Therefore, our answer for our third example is negative 8. Fourth example, we have 3 minus negative 12. Copy 3. Proceed to addition. And change the sign of the second number. They are both positive, therefore we should add them. 3 plus 12 is 15. And since they are both positive, our answer should also be positive. Let's proceed to multiplication and division of integers. Multiplication and division have the same rules. We have rule number 1. In multiplying and dividing integers with same signs, the answer will always be positive. We have here some examples. 5 times 4, that is positive 20, since both of them are positive. Another example, 10 times 2, that is also 20. And positive, since both 10 and 2 have positive signs. Next, let us have negative 5 times negative 4, that is also 20. And since they are both negative, our answer should be positive. Next, we have negative 10 times negative 2. 10 times 2 is 20. And since they are both negative, our final answer is positive. Let's proceed to division. 8 divided by 4, that is 2. And since they are both positive, our final answer is also positive. 20 divided by 10, that is 2. And since 20 and 10 are both positive, our answer is positive. Next, we have negative 16 divided by negative 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Since both 16 and 2 are negative, our answer is positive. Next is negative 15 divided by negative 5. 15 divided by 5 is 
3. And since both 15 and 5 are negative, therefore our final answer is positive. Rule number 2 for multiplication and division of integers. If both the integers that are being multiplied and divided have different signs, the answer should be negative. Let's have examples. Negative 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Since 5 is negative and 4 is positive, our final answer should be negative. Next, 10 times negative 2, that is also 20. Since they have different signs, positive 10 and negative 2, the answer is negative. Next, negative 1 times 10. 1 times 10 is 10. And it should be negative. Next, 3 times negative 4. 3 times 4 is 12. And our answer should be negative. Let's proceed to division. Negative 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Since 8 is negative and 4 is positive, our final answer is negative negative 2 20 divided by negative 10 is 2 and this should be negative 2 negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8 and 15 divided by negative 5 is negative 3 to sum up the rules in operations of integers in addition when the signs are the same or are both positive or both negative then we should add the absolute values of the integers and then copy the sign however if the signs are different we should proceed to subtraction and copy the sign of the number that has the larger absolute value for subtraction we should copy the first number, then proceed to addition, and change the sign of the second number, and then follow the rules of addition of integers. As for multiplication and division of integers, when both signs of the integers are the same, the answer should be positive. But if the signs of two integers that are being multiplied and divided are different the final answer should be negative let us have some practice test number one negative one plus negative two the answer for this is since they have both the same signs we should add their absolute values one plus two is three and copy their sign negative Therefore, negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. Number 2, negative 5 plus 2 equals, since they have different signs, 5 is negative and 2 is positive, we should proceed to subtraction. 5 minus 2 is 3. And follow the sign of the number that has the larger absolute value, which is in this case, 5. And it is negative. Number 3, 8 plus negative 1, same case, they don't have the same signs, therefore we should subtract them. 8 minus 1 is 7. And since 8 has the larger absolute value, which is positive, therefore our answer is also positive. Positive 7. Number 4, 1 minus 6, copy the first number. Proceed to addition, change the sign of the second number, since 6 is positive, we should change it to negative. And then follow the rules of addition. Since they have different signs, let's subtract them. 6 minus 1 is 5, 
and cap in a sign of 6. Therefore, 1 minus 6 is negative 5. Number 5, negative minus negative 8. Copy negative 5. Proceed to addition. Change negative 8 to positive. Since they have different signs, proceed to subtraction. 8 minus 5 is 3. And since positive 8 has the larger absolute value, our answer should be positive 3. Number 6. Negative 9 minus 1. Copy negative 9. Proceed to addition. Change the sign of the second number. Since 9 and 1 are both negative, we should proceed to addition. 9 plus 1, 10. And copy their sign. Therefore, negative 9 minus 1 is negative 10. Number 7, negative 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Since both of them are negative, therefore our answer should be positive. Number 8, negative 4 times 3 is 12. Since they have different signs, therefore our answer should be negative. Number 9, 1 times negative 5. 1 times 5 is 5. And this is negative. Number 10, negative 9 divided by negative 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And since they are both negative, our answer should be positive. Number 11, 15 divided by negative 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Since they have different signs, this should be negative 5. 12 last item, negative 20 divided by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And this should be negative. I hope you learned from this video. Thank you for watching.